What's up everyone, this is Cybernet8610 and today we have another episode of Read the Card for maybe someone that has just now started watching this series. Uh, this series is just about cards that don't get much credit for actually being good and we're going to talk about them and try to give reasons why they are good to use even though they may be cheaper or just overlooked because there's a lot of players these days that just overlook cards and just uh, look at the card that's worth a lot of money instead of the one that's two dollars that is really good. So yeah, anyway, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the lighting on this video too. And uh, please tell me if it's better than the last time. I can never get rid of the reflection off my glasses, though, unfortunately. I guess I need contacts for these videos. I don't know. But anyway, let's get started. And today we're going to talk about my stroke, the Symphony Gin. It's a really good card. came out in the, the new starter deck. Not structure. I keep wanting to call it a structure deck for some reason. Uh, the C Symphony. And uh, you can see why. Because most of the C monsters there uh, that were in that had more of a musical kind of theme to them. Anyway though, this is a rank 4 dark fiend monster. It requires two level 4 monsters to bring it out, and its effect is, it has a pretty long effect actually, um, that once per turn you can detach one XC material from this card to target one face up attack position monster you, your opponent controls. Change it to face down defense position. If a face up dungeon or gin, excuse me, I keep wanting to call it a gin, I know it's gin, uh, XC monster you control would be destroyed. You can detach one XC material from this card instead. So yeah, it's good card because it's splashable. It has not that bad of an attack either. 1,800 and uh, 2,100 defense. This defense is actually really nice as well. Um, it can be splashed in most decks. I mean, you know, Glider Beast, Heroes, you know, just things that use level 4s. I know I could use this with my Quacky Marrows that I use for fun. This card would be really fun to use in that. Uh, also, you know, it kind of being a Book of Moon, you can use more than once, which is really nice. And also, it's effect to be able to get past destruction. We have two torrential tributes this format, which is pretty crazy. We have uh, Dark Hole. We have so many things that are going on in this format. This card is actually very, very good, in my opinion. Especially if you got more than one of these out. You know, that way uh, they can protect each other and stuff from destruction as well. I don't recommend the other gen monsters, as I'll show you guys. These were the other ones that were released. They're cool, and I believe they had good ideas for them, but unless it was something, you know, I've, I have one of my friends that has actually made it like around them, and that might work, but they're not as good, though, as the rank 5, because, uh, rank, they're not as good as the rank 4, they're not as good as the rank 4, though, because the rank 4 is more splashable. Those three are not as splashable, unfortunately, they have alright effects, but they're just unfortunately not as good. So I would just recommend running two of uh, my stroke and uh, it'd be a much better thing to do. Alright, we also uh, let's talk about some other XCs that are kind of comparable to this card. First off, let's compare it to Utopia. This is another card like Utopia that is splashable, which is really nice, and uh, comes in the same starter deck, which is a really great thing for new players out there. If you uh, you don't know what XCs to use, new XC monsters, maybe you've stepped away from the game or whatever, uh, just get the starter deck, because these two XC uh, monsters are really great to use, and uh, you, can, you get both of them, of course, in the starter deck. Get like two of those starter decks, and you're just about set with an extra deck. They can be used for most things, you know, a, a cheap extra deck like that. So yeah, it's great to use a... It's a good comparison to Utopia. And I think we'll see it being used about as much. Also, it reminds me of number 20, Giga Brilliant. For the reason that Brilliant is an awesome card. I've always thought it was an amazing card. Uh, like Blade Armor Ninja too. You know, it's another one of those that uh, a lot of people really didn't recognize. And yet, a lot of people are using it now. That's how I, I see a Maestro. Uh, and it, it's going to end up as well. And uh, it just really reminds me of the two. That's the reason I kind of want to bring it up. I really like Giga Brilliant too. If you don't, if you have a Swarm deck, and uh, you should really use that card then. And it also reminds me of Gachi Gachi Genzetsu. Uh, it's easier to summon than Gachi Gachi, unless for some reason you have those uh, level twos like crazy, like I know uh, agents can do. And there's been a few other decks here and there that I've seen been able to do it. But uh, it can just like how it can uh, get away from destruction a lot. Well, that's kind of how uh, Maestro, uh, the Symphony of Jin, can do as well. So yeah, it's, it, that's what it reminds me of too. It kind of reminds me of Zen Mains. I don't have a Zen Mains where I would uh, show that card as well, but they, it's kind of a cheaper Zen Mains if you think about it. I know it's not as good because Zen Mains, of course, would uh, destroy a card afterwards, but this is still a great uh, card that you can just use uh, for just budget decks. I mean, yeah, that's, well, that's what we need more of is good cards that are cheap. So yeah, please tell me what you guys think about this card. Do you think it's a pretty good card? Do you think it's amazing? Do you think it's one of the best cards ever? Or do you think it's just absolute abomination, one of the worst cards ever made? Please tell me, of course, in the comments. 
And uh, please tell me what deck you run this in. I mean, like I said, this can pretty much be ran in just about anything. I mean, uh, the only thing I would think of that it might not work out in is something like wind-up stuff that usually go for the rank 3s instead of the 4s. But even at that, it might be good side deck material or something. You know, if you if you have the possibility at all of bringing out a uh, rank 4, then it might be good for a side deck or something. So yeah, in my opinion, I actually think that this card, for being as cheap as it is, I would say it's better than some of the more expensive exceeds we have right now, like Roach. It's on par with uh, Utopia, in my opinion. And, you know, it's just a really great card to have. So yeah, if you don't have one of these yet, you should really pick them up. I see them rising in price in the future. I can see probably two, three months after the Star Deck is released, you know, down the road, we're going to see this card rise up in price to at least... Uh, $8 would be my guess. So yeah, I think it's really going to rise up in price. So get them while you can. The cheaper, really great card to use, and I really recommend at least trying it out. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Please tell me what card you want me to talk about next. What What's an underrated card that you really like that other people just don't notice, you know, and uh, you feel like it really deserves some recognition. I also plan to talk about combos sometime soon. If anyone has any great combos, you know, send me a comment, message, whatever. I'm just like any other person. Just send me a message. I reply to everything. That's the reason I'm a little slower on some of my messages, too, but I reply to everyone. So yeah, or if you just have questions, whatever, just uh, contact me. And I think that's everything. Please subscribe. Later, guys, and like this video if you want to keep these videos going. Thanks for watching my latest video. Be sure to subscribe before you leave, and also be sure to leave a comment and rate this video before you leave as well. Alright, so yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Later.